know you got your Dockers on with no underwear, white boy. Yeah, you had that surgery. You're saying that that grievance, or you know what I'm saying, the statement that people seeing is not no low forward shit or no fake nah, shit. No, no, nah, I wrote that. Yeah. So you don't feel like that was snitching though, like even writing that statement out, like you don't feel like, like damn, I shouldn't have did that one. Nah, because it had no effect on nobody. You know, that's one of the reason why she got me, got me, got me, you kind of deported, right? Got me, he kind of deported, right? He's speaking out on it. He's saying how he got deported, gang. Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hey, man, we got some news to report when it comes to 1090J. Now, man, it's been a whole lot going on with 1090J. Drugs, weapons, and cell phones inside Florida prisons. Jacob Cherry, a former inmate, posted the videos to YouTube. Every single compound I hit, there was all types of drugs on there, whether it's prescription pills, molly, some spots it was cocaine and meth, but nothing more common than K2. Ten ninety J is just being exposed for giving Tampa police a statement. Are we worried about uh, Ten Ninety Jake's new accusations of of snitching that are uh, floating around? Why I keep saying my boy Ten Ninety Jake is snitch man? So today we have Ten Ninety Jake. We have some paperwork that's been revealed on Ten Ninety Jake. Meanwhile, I just got DMs from a person with docs where Mr. Cherry had gave a sworn statement as a witness in a shooting and gave statement to police about other individuals. I'm gonna give y'all sort of a backstory on this whole 1090 Jake situation. Now, 1090 Jake, he came in the game known for prison stories. Kind of like the dude locked up 20, uh, 23 and 1. You feel me? Him and him, they was like neck to neck. They was going back and forth with the prison videos. You feel me? White boys talking their shit. They both in black gangs. And uh, from there, shit, he started reporting on snitches. Snitches, man. Rats putting them out there. See, that's why I don't really like to get into that because I be thinking like, damn, them rats, they got a whole lot in common. They like to rat on each other, feel me? So I only rock with them type of niggas, pig, feel me? I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. But 1090 Jake, he came off as like he was a real street dude. He plugged with some people from New York, plugged with the South, and he from Boston. He got a whole Boston accent, you feel me? So if I don't know if y'all seen those videos when he was talking about him being in prison and what he was doing to do. About how I was facing life at 18 years old. What made you, how how did you end up going to prison in Florida? It was for a can of concealed firearm and a burglary of a conveyance. Check this out. So from there, like I said, he started coming out with the news, breaking news, speaking over different people cases. But he don't want to talk about how he was in YNW Melly case. I was just brought up and brought into YNW Melly's double murder case. A detective states one of the highest ranking and respected members of gangster killer bloods is white jacob cherry me one of the highest ranking most respected members of gkb <laughs> why was his name said in his whole breakdown of who he is and who he affiliated with you feel me 1090 j check this out this video we're gonna be speaking on florida rapper boston richie and his paperwork being exposed. So from there, 1090 Jake gets called out. He get into it with Boston Richie. I don't know if y'all seen that, but this whole situation between him and Boston Richie gets wild. You feel me? Boston Richie is a rapper. His name is Jalen Foster. 1090 Jake has posted a video alleging that Boston Richie is a snitch. And it is so reckless. There is no evidence that Mr. Richie or Mr. Foster was going to testify in this case. When you look at 1090 Jake's presentation of evidence, he puts up a document that says witness list. But just because somebody appears on a fucking witness list doesn't mean that they're gonna be a witness. Saying he's a snitch and, and giving this sensational bullshit about paperwork can get people killed. So the nigga's gonna be like, damn, so Boston Richie saying the same shit. He's saying that he ain't getting nobody locked up. So like, what's the difference between what you doing and what Boston hey, Richie Boston did? Richie, I'm about to give a Fuck about Boston Richie. Even wearing t-shirts with Boston Richie face on it while he in the interrogation room. Calling him a rat. You feel me? Talking about he's standing on that. That's what 1090 Jake on. Real Boston Richie. Yeah, I got him on my shirt right here. Yeah, so fuck, fuck, your fuck your favorite rapper. So that's Boston Richie yeah, in the Boston interrogation Richie. room? Yeah. <laughs> so I started to see some things come out. You know, I don't know if y'all seen 1090 Jake in this whole interview, this whole breakdown, but this is for news reporting purposes only. Check this out. So yo, so I break down exactly what's going on in that in that statement that, that's posted on online right now. So that's that's a prison grievance. That's what that is. That's not a uh 
Because you know, 99% of people on here ain't never even been to prison. That's the grievance. So what happened, we was at war with the Zoles and beat them at Lancaster. That was the jungle dorm. It was during shift change. One of my brothers popped one of the Zoles with a lock. He had a big fat ass gold lock. Hit the Zoe in the back of the head. That's, listen, we're going we gonna to break all that. I can uh, even bring up their fucking pictures so you can see what they uh, look like. Mark Shari was the Zoe that got hit in the back of his head with a brick. Or not, not a brick, a lock. Cocaina is Jimmy. Cocaina is his nickname. That's the other Zoe. So Jimmy that's, that's, that's who fired me up. So you see like, even in that video, he giving it up. You feel me? A lot of people didn't see this full video, but now you see it. He giving it up, bro. Straight up. It's crazy. But from there, 1090 Jake. Old foul get released. January 16th, 2014, I was sitting on my bunk when inmate Jimmy Horry, K08763, hit me with a rock and sock on my head. This was during morning shift change. The officer came in and cuffed him, then checked all the inmates and found Mark Cherry was also assaulted. Inmates Horry and Lewis were said to be the assaulters and me and Mark Cherry the victims. I then witnessed Sergeant Martin start beating inmate Jerry Lewis. Eventually, Sergeant Martin, Captain Sapp, Officer Coy, and a few other officers that were called for emergency traffic beat inmate Lewis and inmate Horry. 1090 Jake would then write, I was then forced to write that I was assaulted and fought back in self-defense, which is untrue. I am a victim in this case. I was assaulted by an inmate, then threatened and blackmailed by staff. This is the second grievance I've written. I believe the first was thrown out by an officer. I have informed my family who will be contacting Tallahassee for an investigation and getting a lawyer if I'm not released from confinement. I have been assaulted, threatened, and blackmailed and am pending CM, which is close management, for charges I never committed. Please help me. Thank you. That, that grievance, or, you know what I'm saying, the statement that people seeing is not no low forward shit. Oh, no, fake no, shit, no, 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 I wrote that. So you don't feel like that was snitching though? Like even writing that statement out? Like you don't feel like, like, damn, I shouldn't have did that one? Nah, because it had no effect on nobody. Because it had no effect on nobody. See, I wanted 1090 Jake to be real. He talk a lot of shit on YouTube. He talk a, a lot about others. You feel me? So somebody reporting on something like that, I will hope that they don't got no smut on their name. Yeah, that that white boy, man. That white boy there, man, went in, man. He would agree with He did snitch on no, He snitched on me. He snitched on the police. He would agree with on everybody, man. See, he got more than one case that he in. You know what I mean? Y'all be the judge. You feel me? Y'all get in the comments and let me know. He got a few of them. At least a couple. For sure, you know? A lot of people saying it ain't paperwork on certain things. It's crazy. But I guess it goes to the internet. The internet. 1090J could be okay. People still gonna watch him. And still look for him to expose somebody else. But that's why I go to say like, see, I'm not really into that business. Because it's like, at that point, it's like the rats expose the rats. And they get paid off of it. Niggas get to telling all online. And, you know, the one dude, he was saying that. The AK dude was saying how... He do police work. YouTubers, bloggers do police work, and that's a part of the job. This is me, right? To all YouTubers, we gonna play some police shit on here, bro. We gonna play some police shit on here. It's a part of the job, bro. This is the type of stuff going on. Keep it a buck. Make it make, it make sense, gang. But 1090 Jake paperwork, academics. Academics even speak on this whole situation. Him and facts. I, you know, I interviewed 1090 Jake for three hours. You know, right? In the interview, he explained, bro, yo... He told me he cut niggas in jail. Like he said, bro, like he said, there's no there's no mystery in his history. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's definitely, it ain't no mystery because that shit came out. The grievance came out and he said he did it. He said he said the nigga name, you heard? That's the crazy thing. He admitted to saying that he said the nigga name in the grievance. Hold on, like, hold on. Like, that's snitching. He admitted he snitched? Yeah, he admitted man, that on, he broke and told the nigga name. No, that ass, he admitted that shit. Shout out facts, man. Shout out 16 shot. But this whole situation, 90 J got to explain this. He wouldn't pick up academics phone call. Come on, give me his name. Now, I'm about to get I'm about to get him on here. I'm about to FaceTime him. <laughs> nah, he sent me the voicemail type shit. I think he probably had no service type shit. Everybody know that. Nah, nigga. Nah, he ain't on. trying to face you. He kept calling him. He sent them a text. He ain't pick up. See, now it's in the forefront. Cause he admitted. Listen to this. He admitted to being. The person that said buddy name. So you basically saying that that grievance or you know what I'm saying the statement that people seeing is not no low forward shit or no fake no, shit. No, no, I wrote that. Now 
I don't know if y'all know this whole situation where we know who the person is. We know who he is. He just did an interview with my boy Straight Drop. We're going to play a little bit of that. He's speaking out on it. He's saying how he got deported, gang. One of the reasons why shit got me, got me, got me, he kind of deported, right? Yeah, man. Yo, you feel me? I go by the name of Zoe Baby. You know about Zoe Baby. You gonna say Zoe Baby? And the name they call me Cocaine in the Swag. You feel me? Cocaine is his nickname. That's the other Zoe. So then he he that's, that's who fired me up. He did snitch on no, He snitched on me. He snitched on police. He was a grievance on everybody, man. Getting known for Ryan Grievance, good game. People from around exposing people. Like he's doing now. That's the same shit with the grievance. Snitching, exposing people, telling on people. That's what he's doing now. Same, same shit he's doing. Ain't nothing shame about shit, man. Shit wrote a grievance on my ass, man. Shit got me 120 days in the box, man. I ain't never gonna forget that shit, dog. I ain't never gonna forget that shit. Shit wrote a grievance. He say, Jimmy Hori hit me with a lock in the sock. Cause that fuck ass nigga, man. And I got one more year to come back, man. I'm gonna come back next year, you feel me? Nah, you feel me? Nah, bro. You know when that outpost got out, I did my three years, you feel me? Once I did my three years, you feel me? You know it's a it's an ISO thing. You know what an ISO called? You know, ISO like a immigration, you feel me? You know that's one of the reasons why shit got me, got me, got me he kind of deported, right? Because I was supposed to get out and immigration came with my case. You don't want to see if they're going to check all all the fights, all the, if you was doing good, if you been good, you know? Like, because I had to go in front of the judge and shit. Once I went in, they seen the grievance. He wrote on me, I got in the riot. Yeah, man, yeah, the Jimmy was in. And they had labeled me. It's not that I, I was in the, you feel me? You know, I'm Haitian, you feel me? Of course, they're going to label me as a Zoos because I'm Haitian, but I'm not in the Zoos. But, you know, because of that thing, I went in in front of the judge and they seen all the, all the, all the stuff with that Sherry, with that Jacob Sherry shit. I hit him with a rock and a sock and I went to see him. I did 120 days, all that shit. You feel me? All that shit cash up. That's one of the reasons why shit got me, got me, got me, he kind of deported, right? He got deported playing around with 1090J. Because remember 1090J said somebody hit him with a lock. It was the Zoes. He he said that he's not a Zoe. He's just a Haitian brother. And he seen one of his Haitian brothers get into it with 1090J. So he helped, he helped the situation. You feel me? At the end of the day, bro, 1090J said his name. Which caused him to get deported. You feel me? He got deported. Back to his country. Because of 1090 J. So even if y'all don't think he a snitch. What do you call that then? Like grievances. They talk about grievances. Yeah, people do grievances. They do it on police officers, CEOs, the correctional facility. Things like that. You know what I'm saying? They do it. For sure. But when you say somebody's name. You point out an individual. It's different from you pointing out a damn correctional facility. But they negligent. You feel me? But look, I'm going to keep it a buck though. 1090 J ain't going to lose. No following from this people still gonna rock with him after they just heard this haitian brother speak on this whole situation shout out straight drop man with the exclusive y'all go check that out so what 1090j gotta say about this y'all get in the comments and let me know it's death for the cloud chaser tv if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button share this on facebook and twitter gang